Okay, back to the placket. So I have the placket that's gonna show on the outside of the garment, the fold line or iron line that's gonna be the edge of my garment, and the inside of the placard that is gonna come back and hide the back of it. This is also gonna give us the reinforcement we need for buttons and buttonholes, whatever interfacing you're gonna do. The problem is, see right here, if I line up my seam allowances right here with my placard, my placard is not square on the top. My placard is rounded because of the neckline, which means I have to fold the placard in order to get the correct neckline. I decided to do a diamond down at the bottom. So my placket would look like that. What happens if you don't do the diamond at the bottom? What happens if you do a diamond on the exterior and not a diamond on the interior? Because you have a right and a left. This is still only one side. One has to be the extension that the buttonholes go on. One of it has to be the extension that the buttons go on. You're gonna have one of each. I don't care about the diamond thing. You can put the diamond on, not put the diamond on, whatever. But for my aesthetic, the way I planned it, this is what I'm turning in. Does that make sense? This did not make sense to me until I started playing origami with my paper. How about construction? This is a wicked hag to construct. I don't like it. Because you have a V cut here and you're trying to get both of these plackets sewn onto an itty bitty little non-existent seam allowance and get it to not pucker and to lay flat right here. It's really, really difficult. So a way to get around that is to create a yoke right here at chest line so that your top shoulder pieces are completely separate and independent. Then you can attach the placket to one side, the placket to the other side, and then sew them all together sandwich style to the bottom of the bodice. It does get you a style line right across the chest, but it's much easier to construct. <laughs>